specifically how to put in the widget. And right here, I'm going to show you exactly how you'll put your closet widget right here, which promotes your Poshmark closet. So. Hello, I am so excited that you are here today and welcome back to my channel where all we do is talk about Poshmark and thrifting, and reselling. If you're new, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos and tips for your closet or reselling business. Now today is special because we're going to talk about specifically how to put in the widget, which we talked about in the previous video about what is the Poshmark closet widget and how to use it. And this one, I'm actually going to show you exactly how to put it into your website. Now, of course, if you don't have a website, you can always go down. I'll leave a link below and you can create a free one for yourself and embed one. Or you can look through the form, uh, through the packages I have, and I will create one for you. So there's a couple options for you, which are in the description below. So let's go over here. And right here, I'm going to show you exactly how you'll put your closet widget right here, which promotes your Poshmark closet. So you'll go into your settings right here up here and then you'll want to go to your closet widget well it wasn't your settings up here your icon and go to your closet widget down here and once you go to your closet widget you will have a couple options you could make it uh, have you know only four show six show eight show I chose eight you can also select favorite postures closets to promote I actually opted out of this one currently um, maybe in the future I will if I'm collabing with someone else and uh, we do it for each other, stuff like that. Um, and then here you can pick the dimensions of your widget. I picked the 300 because that works best for my website when I do it. Now down here, what I like to use is WordPress. Blogger is great as well, um, as well uh, Tumblr. I don't know Squarepace or TypePad, but WordPress is the one that I like to teach and I coach with clients. Um, for their business. So what you do is once you'll hit the option for that, you'll hit get code. And basically, you'll just copy this code and come over to your website. And you'll just hit the customize. Once it loads. And once you'll load any website, it'll look like this because you'll have your admin bar up top. If you have if you're using a different platform, it will look different than this. Keep this in mind. Oh, refuse to connect to the internet. Let's give it a second to load. Um, let me pause it till, oh, there it goes. Okay. Customize. There we go. What? All right. Let me pause it and then re-log in and see what's going on. And then I'll, perfect. So it should work now. So what I did is I just re-logged into my WordPress account um, because it logged me out after a certain amount of time because I've been sitting up. So I'll hit the customize. It'll come up here. And I'll go down to widgets, because this is what it is. It's a closet widget. And I'll actually want it in my sidebar. I didn't want it in my footer. And what you'll do is you'll hit add widget. Type in HTML. And then all you'll do is you'll hit copy and paste. And then you'll see once it loads, I'll scroll to the bottom. Oops. Right there, you can see the closet widget appeared. So it's easy for you to plug into your website. Not a problem. You can do this. And then you can easily rotate it and move it where you'd like. Now I'm going to delete it since I already have one. But now you know exactly how simple it is. You can do this for your business. So make sure you go over and create your widget for your Poshmark closet. And if you have not created a Poshmark account yet, make sure you create one and use my code, Christina Spore, to get $10 when you sign up and share this and like this and i will see you in a future video and make sure to click the link in the description to get your website going or have me set it up for you all right see you